Okay, I was looking for a quick tutorial on creating a regular tetrahedron in Fusion 360 and I couldn't find one that I liked. So I'm going to show you two different ways, one being quite quick and one being a little bit more tedious but more accurate. Now the tetrahedron is a type of platonic solid and these sort of things are really useful to know how to draw in your chosen CAD software because, for example, the, the regular tetrahedron is the basis of the true Relo tetrahedron which is a solid of constant width. So this is the quickest and easiest way to do it. You basically need to draw a triangle and then we're gonna do an extrude with a taper angle that leaves us with a almost exact regular tetrahedron. But it's gonna be using decimal points so it's not gonna be absolutely perfect but for most people, it's gonna be fine. So create sketch and basically we're going to draw a polygon, uh, inscribe polygon, whatever, that's fine. And three sides, Pull it out there. I'm now going to make the bottom edge a horizontal constraint and let's give it a size of 60 millimeters. So now we need to do the extrude. So just click the uh, extrude icon here and then the profile and we'll pull it up. And that gives us a triangular prism. And then our taper angle is what we'll use to taper it into a regular tetrahedron. But to do that, we need to know the right taper angle. And this is where you're going to use decimal points. So going back on the Wikipedia page for the tetrahedron, uh, regular tetrahedron here, we have the dihedral angle, which is what we need. So we're going to be actually reducing, uh, minusing from 90 degrees to figure out what the taper angle we want is. So it's going to grab that, control C, drop it into our calculator. So 90, there you go. Uh, minus our uh, dihedral angle equal, we end up with 19.471221. So this will be uh, rounded, I'm gonna round it to three decimal places, 19.471. So go back to Fusion and it'd be 19.471. But this tapers outwards as you can see here, so we actually need to add a minus, so let's add a minus there, so it's minus 19.471 and select OK. And there you go, that's a regular tetrahedron. If we look at the measure and measure all the angles, they should all be 60 degrees. But because we did use a, uh, a rounded number, it's not gonna be completely perfect. Most people won't care, but if you're gonna be doing very complicated assemblies, you might get rounding errors further down the line. So let me show you the other method that I use that's a little bit more time consuming, but will give you a, a perfect result mathematically. So this is using a loft and I've used a loft and two sketches to create this perfect uh, regular tetrahedron. So to demonstrate, I'm just gonna start a new design here and we're gonna draw in our equilateral triangle again. So sketch, polygon, inscribe polygon. And it's important that the center is at the origin. So three, okay. Once again, I'm gonna add a constraint there to keep the bottom nice and even and then make it 60 millimeters again, like that, stop sketch. Okay, we have our triangle now and we need to do a second sketch and we need to do that sketch at 90 degrees to the original plane, making sure that one of our points intersects with that plane. So we can't choose this one because that's not gonna intersect with any points. I'm gonna choose this plane here, which is our, uh, our Z and Y plane. So create sketch there. And then we need to project that point. So this point here is on our plane, hit P. Now nice and projected. And then we're gonna draw a line from the center. That's our origin, which is the center of our equilateral triangle down to that point like that. Make sure that middle line is uh, locked to vertical. And then once again, we're going to do our, our distance for this line here, which was 60 degrees. And the reason we I, I prefer this method is there's no rounding. Um, this is exactly 60, which means the final shape will be exactly 60 in all uh, lengths, it's no, no rounding involved. And finally, we need to do another point. So I'm just gonna make all of these lines uh, construction because they are construction lines for our purpose. So hit X, so select, hit X, they become construction lines. And then once again, sketch and point. Drop the point at the top here and finish up. And then now we're going to do a loft. And a loft will now create those extra edges to that point, create loft select the, the uh, profile and then that point. So our edges will perfectly coincide to that point and don't change anything about um, guide rail types or um, tan point tangent. We want it to be sharp. Don't want any curves involved. 
And if you've done it correctly, then you should have a regular tetrahedron with all the sides perfectly the same length. And uh, you should be able to draw a sketch on the faces. So any face you should be able to draw a sketch on. If you can't draw a sketch on, it means they're slightly curved and you haven't done it properly. So those are the two different ways I draw a regular tetrahedron in Fusion 360. I hope you guys found it useful and I use it to then create this, which is an object of constant width. It is the Rollo tetrahedron. And in the next Fusion tutorial, I'll show you how I sliced this file up uh, and created it to make it possible to easily, easily 3D print it. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you found this video useful. Subscribe if you did. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later guys. Bye.